are having the best day ever. Are they? How come? Because Gizmo from Gremlins made another has made an appearance. Okay. <laughs> Remember him? Uh huh. Sure. From from Gremlins. He's yeah, in adorable. a new commercial now. Want to try some of my Mountain Dew Zero Sugar? Try. It is tasty. <laughs> Just as good as the original, but without any sugar. Be careful. Gizmo, careful. <laughs> Hey Dad, Mom wants. Okay, so that's the new Gizmo commercial. Uh huh. And it's so now the nerds are having the best day ever because there's a big fight about who is cuter, Gizmo or Baby Yoda. Oh, that's a good nerd fight. Mm, that's a great nerd fight. Yeah. Look, it's tough. I'm going to go with Gizmo because Gizmo's furry. You know, Baby Yoda is sort of like this weird thing, and it's there's not enough. It, it's like a frog with ears but big giant eyes. So, look, every baby's cute, but if I'm going to decide between the two of them, I'm going with Gizmo. I, I actually think Baby Yoda is Gizmo without hair. If you look at them side by side, they're pretty much the same animal. Of course, you have a baby Yoda. I have two. I I, I could get the other one. Of course you do. Um, But I have one in the studio. See? You know, it's so funny. I used to have a gizmo. and My mother threw it out when she was going through the basement. I would love to just pull out and be like, baby Yoda, here's gizmo. But see, I have no gizmos. So I I, I have to go with baby Yoda. And I I have a different baby Yoda out there. But this is the, this is the, actually the one from Disney, so I got the original Disney. I don't want to look up its skirt. <laughs> Why would you do? What do you, what do, got, you do that he's for? He's got underwear on. Look. Okay, I would hope so. He has underwear on. So yeah, good. That's creepy. I don't. I didn't even want to have to know that. So now that's the fight. So so you're picking Gizmo. Yeah, Gizmo's furry and cute and kind of like a dog. Both ta- they both kind of talk the same. And did you hear the lady from from Baby Yoda show got fired? Yes, I did hear that, as well she should. You know, I don't watch Baby Yoda show, so I didn't really care. I didn't know who she was, so I had to Google the whole story. I was sort of following it on Twitter, and oh my God, her tweets. I don't understand that. It's like, if you're going to tweet something even a little bit controversial, you're living in 2021. You know how things work. Like, even if you hold those thoughts, even if you hold those biases, even if you are just a raging anti-Semite and racist, you know, maybe if you want to keep your job, just keep that to yourself. But maybe it's a gift that she put it out there that she was willing to tell people that she's insane, you know, Mm -hmm. so she didn't get to keep her job. And, you know, can't you separate the woman from the character, though? Not like that. Not not for that. I can separate the woman from the character if I hear like. I don't know, like I've heard things in the past about uh, couples that dated and one person cheated on the other one. They ended up breaking up and then they go and do a movie together or whatever. I can separate that because it's like, I don't care about your relationship. If he cheated on you, that doesn't affect me. Mm -hmm. But somebody who has come out and just repeatedly um, kept conspiracy theories going, had said horrible anti-Semitic things, questioned the Holocaust. I mean, who is this stupid chick? Who is this stupid bitch? Like, what is she doing? How are you so dumb? Even if you, that's what I'm saying. Even if you think like that, even if you're stupid enough to think like that, keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. You're going to get fired. You're going to, you're going to be canceled. She's never going to work again. I I heard that she's like trying to get her own project going. Good luck with that. Mm -hmm. There's, There's enough people out there that know how to keep their mouths shut that, that do better work than she does. She's not some big star. See, this is another example of if you would have stayed off of Twitter and kept your mouth shut, you would still have a job. But no, you got to open up your mouth and and talk crap on Twitter. Right. Did she get paid from Twitter? No. Nope. She got a paycheck from Disney, which she is not getting anymore. Right. So now they got to hire somebody else to come in and fill that position. Right. I mean, OK, so she she tweeted something against the Holocaust and got, let's say, I don't know how many retweets, let's say 2000 retweets. How much money you get for that? Nothing. Not Zero. a zero. Nothing for that. And how much were you getting from Disney for a, the Mandalorian? A, a bunch of money. 
Wait, and they were going to do a prequel. They were going to do like a, a, sh- a spinoff with just her. Yeah, she was going to be the star. Yeah. She went that from too. the MMA. She was in the MMA. She was a fighter. Okay. To acting on Baby Yoda show to getting her own Disney show. And she screwed it up because she and couldn't she stay off of Twitter. Because she couldn't keep her mouth shut. Yep. But you know what? If you're that stupid, if you're that stupid, you know, you brought it upon yourself. Right. You know, after the first tweet, after the first tweet that was sort of controversial, the fact that nobody in her life said, button it, like, don't say anything anymore. You're going to lose your job. You're going to lose your fans. Your life is going to be over as you know it. Like, get off social media. It's not worth it. I mean, maybe somebody did say that to her and she probably said, you know, "Ah, it's my right to say whatever I want to. And it's like, okay, well, it's Disney's right to fire your ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, somebody had to be her agent. Right. Her manager. Her former agent and manager. My guess is uh, they don't, they're not working with her anymore. I mean, she had to have a publicist. No, not necessarily. If you're on a, a Disney Star Wars show I, you have to have a publicist no no well usually disney has their own publicist and you do publicity oh. through through the disney channel some people do hire their own publicist but publicists are expensive i mean they start at like ten thousand dollars a month so unless you're promoting something specific or you're trying to get on red carpets and get yourself out there right now it's not a time to have a publicist because there's no events going on there's nothing when when actors hire publicists they do it because they want to set themselves apart from the show that they're on and they do it during a time when it's not COVID and you can get invited to award shows and ceremonies and be seen on red carpets um, and be, be a spokesperson for stuff. But all that stuff is not going on right now. So it's even more important. Like if you have a job, especially in this industry, in in television, you want to keep it. That would have been $10,000 a month well spent, though. <laughs> if she would have had a publicist yeah. that could step in and say, "Ah, eh, we're taking your Twitter away. Yeah, she can't unring that bell, though, now, because it's not, again, it's not like she came out on the side of, um, I don't know, Lorena Bobbitt against, you know, I was thinking of something weird that happened in our mm. recent past. You know, the woman who cut off her husband's penis. It's not like she came out on the side of, of Lorena Bobbitt and was like, <laughs> yes, did your mind the- go straight to Lorena <laughs> Bobbitt? <laughs> Joe, run. <laughs> no, it's because I'll tell you why. I was watching a murder show today and they were talking about her. So she's on my mind because the murder show, <laughs> they were saying that like the woman, the woman that was on the show was saying that she was inspired by Lorena Bobbitt, that she was like um, going to Lorena Bobbitt, her husband. And so I'm think I was thinking about it because of the murder show. <laughs> Right. <laughs> but, you know, but of all things to support, like, that's just like a weird thing to support. And it's like, girl, that's just a little weird. But once you come out and let people know that you're an anti-Semite or a racist or a conspiracy theorist or you're just batshit, I don't think people are going to stand by you anymore. How did Mel Gibson get past it? He didn't really. I mean, his I career mean he was in some same. he's been in movies since then and he was batshit. He's not the star that he used to be, though. And a lot of people are no longer working with him. And also, remember, he did come out and apologize. And, you know, this, it was more like his father was the anti-Semite. And he just, not. I'm not making excuses for mm-hmm. him. He did say some crazy stuff. Back then, you said something and someone repeated what you said. She got right on Twitter. So it wasn't like a right. he said, he said thing. It was, we know exactly how she feels. And it was repeated. It was like, there were so many posts that she put up there. It wasn't just the one post. Mm-hmm. I mean, she couldn't stop posting these crazy, so many times that like Twitter took her tweets down because it was just full on lies that she believed. 